In this exercise, we created the two chain features based on geometry that was imported with the model. And we also created that pocketing feature. And that's a good start in creating our milling parts here. But I, before we move on to the next steps, I really wanted to talk about the fact that there are many different ways that we could have created those chain features. And to, uh, to give you some examples of some of the other methods that we could have used. So, uh, so in here in our uh, feature creation toolbar, We've got our manual chain, which we're going to use in lesson five. We've got a point to point feature, which we're going to use in lesson four. That point to point feature will help us create points that locate the center lines of those holes so that we could use drilling operations to drill those holes out. Um, we use the auto chain and we use some of the functionality of the auto chain, but we have also this hole recognition feature. We have legacy hole recognition features. We have a wall feature and a pocketing feature. And so if we actually want to use that pocketing feature, we can go ahead and create a pocket just by selecting pocketing feature here and selecting the bottom face of that pocket. And it will create this pocket, which is almost identical to the one that we created previously. Go ahead and undo that. The other thing that we could have done is we could have selected the top face of the part and selected the auto chain feature, which would have selected, would created a chain on each of these holes, on the pocket over here, on the boss, on the boundary of the part, and on that third hole there. So it would have created all of those chains for us with just two mouse clicks. And then you could, again, just like we did before renaming these, you could rename those. Now, we don't want all those features right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. The other thing that we could have done is we could have selected this top face and we could have selected the pocket icon and it would have created this grouped feature which includes the boundary, which you'll note the dashed line around the boundary means that's an open pocket. And we'll talk about open pockets later in the class when we go to facing operations. And then it would have created a boss here um, to define that. And we could have done a, an operation that removed material from the top here, left that boss. So there's several different ways that we could have gone and created those features that we used for our machining operation. And, uh, and you'll find later in the class that we'll need to use all of those different methods in order to, uh, to very quickly get ready to do our machining operations.